This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by... So, supposedly about 20 free staters won uh, election to the New Hampshire State House. Here are the top 10 things I would like to see one of them try. <laughs> the number actually could be as low as 7 or as high as 14, depending on how this goes, but... In some cases, it might be something that just one of them could do by themselves. Top of my list would probably be something I think I've mentioned before, and that is the idea of a secession bill. Getting some sort of uh, legislative proposal in front of a committee and the public uh, worded to remove New Hampshire from the Union should it pass. There was an article in the Libertarian Enterprise maybe five or six years ago. This is the the uh, magazine that you know the original Free State Project idea was published in first. Well, they also published this idea that you know a Libertarian Party candidate knows he can't win, so he should say things that are really radical and interesting. Hardly anyone who ever runs for office uh, uh, takes this approach. And you can see why some free staters, well, since they actually do get elected, maybe they want to be a little more cautious. But there are going to be some of these 20 legislators that don't really like their job very much or don't plan on keeping it for more than two years. And Well, you know, a piece of legislation like this is doomed to not winning election. So you might as well have fun with it and just focus. You know, a piece of legislation, when you fo create it, it should be focused either on actually passing or on creating debate. And this one should be, you know, focused on the latter for the first three or four times you submit it. But, you know, after 10 years, we might be able to get it through. Depending on the number of Americans uh, killed by the feds and their lackeys by that point. The benefit of this initially is just that you, there's almost no way you could uh, submit a piece of legislation like this and fail to get on Fox News Channel and CNN and the New York Times, uh, oh, and maybe the Colbert Report. But the idea is to get denounced so that you get discussed. I do think a piece of legislation like this, there should be some sort of a... The state should be probably reimbursed for the cost of anyone who pr proposes this. Like if I if I were to if I were to call up a legislator individually and ask them to submit this legislation and make it happen, I probably could do that, and I've done it before. But I I feel sort of ethical qualms about it because of the fact that it costs taxpayers about two thousand dollars to kill a piece of legislation. I would want to either reimburse the state for its expenses or. Uh, you know, at least contribute to a fund that does so. I'm not even sure if that's legal. Who knows? Uh, but anyway, it certainly, when I heard it cost that much to kill a piece of legislation, I stopped trying to have uh, legislation submitted. I felt like that was sort of initiating force. But I, I do think it's okay as long as the cost is reimbursed. But anyway, that would be a fun, that would be a fun thing to see. It, it's a real root striker. However, another thing that uh, would be more ameliorative and would address my previous concern was something that I promised to do if I were elected to state rep. I ran in 08. I came within about six points of winning, and I only spent $2. Uh, and, uh, you know, about five hours of my time. Uh, anyway, uh, I had this idea of what I called a non-aggression pact, an individual the idea would was like I would approach someone like Emma Rouse or Judy Day, uh, one of the worst reps I could find, and I would make an agreement with them uh, to submit zero legislation if they submitted zero legislation. And then we'd have a joint news conference, something like that. It might not have worked with either of those two. It might not have worked with any of the authoritarian reps uh, in the House, but uh, I could have approached all of them with the idea maybe gotten the process on camera and then uh, if all of them said no then I would have held a news conference by myself <laughs> I guess uh, denouncing them for failing to uh, reduce the legislative workload and noting that I had done my part so anyway I'd love to see a free stater rep do that you know uh, uh, eliminate the efforts of one bad guy in exchange for basically shutting down your own efforts 
this would help almost all the state reps reduce their workload or reduce the uh, taxpayer expense of having bills, hearings, etc. If you, if, you, if you get this process to grow, then maybe we could get back to, you know, having four or five hundred pieces of legislation submitted uh, per year as opposed to thousands. I think that's where things stand right now. Thousands. Back to my idea of, uh, of a secession bill, though, and, and, and the idea that having it denounced would be useful. See, the thing is, you I call this the Russell Canning effect. There was an incident a while back where I was uh, stopped by police for open carry, and Russell Canning was videotaped interfering, <laughs> sort of, sort of interfering with the police. You know, he walked in front of them and and stuff, and he just acted kind of uh, annoying. And uh, everybody who watched the video was more interested in how angry they are, how angry they were with Russell than they were in the open carry. And uh, Russell's activity, although it was controversial, it triggered, you know, it, 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 it quadrupled the popularity of what was then an unusually popular video on YouTube. Well, by making a, a bill unusually controversial and forcing the enemy to attack it, you generate three times as much free publicity. And in New Hampshire, the publicity uh, phenomenon does not work the same as it does in any other part of the world. When a free stater or a liberty idea gets bad publicity in New Hampshire, a lot of people outside New Hampshire see it, and some of them sign up to move here. You know, that doesn't really happen in Missouri. That doesn't happen in California. And it was the genius of Jason Soren's original idea for the Free State Project. He may not have thought of this originally, but what it did was it turned bad publicity, if there is such a thing, into a benefit, if it isn't already. It meant that the only real danger in New Hampshire for us is uh, the danger that we might go a week without being talked about. Because if we received publicity that painted us in a negative light, there would be people who would see it that would see right through the negative light. They would move here, in some cases, and their activism, in most cases, would be much more effective than that of the people who might have been activated uh, against this publicity, against us. So, anyway, those are my first two thoughts as to, you know, dream actions i would like to see new state reps take if they're if they're free staters or something like that many more to come most talk radio sucks what if you found a show that wanted to end the war on drugs would you listen join us for the number one pro-liberty talk show free talk live listen live or via podcast for free at freetalklive.com